Hi Aries, welcome to the Temple Path Tarot. I hope you're all doing excellently well. So I have pre-shuffled your deck, so we're just going to jump into it in a minute. I just want to uh, say as well, thank you so much to all of you who do support the channel by watching the videos, liking, subscribing, all those good things. So big thank you to all of you. I appreciate you all so much. And without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so Aries, please. Starting off with the Eight of Wands. Let's put that down there. I just want to check you can see that. Awesome. Okay, Eight of Wands. Followed by the Ace of Wands, reversed. Oh, we have two there coming out, so... Eight of Swords, reversed. <clears throat> awesome. Okay. So, center of your reading, you have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Very nice to see that in the reverse because upright, this card is about somebody who is feeling imprisoned in their situation. They are feeling imprisoned, but there is a way out. Okay, and being in the reverse, you have found that way out. You found that way out of your thoughts and listened to your feelings. Okay, you are not feeling trapped anymore. You are feeling free of those continuous thoughts that were keeping you trapped. So I really like that. Okay, then on this side of the reading. So that's your main energy, is that you are just feeling a sense of freedom after a time where you were perhaps feeling trapped in your thoughts. Okay, this side of the reading we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Alright, so the Ace of Wands upright is all about a new beginning, a new idea that has come to you. And in the reverse, it's saying, you mustn't go with this idea. Okay, if there is a new idea that comes to you, then it's not the right one. Okay, this could be with regards to work. It could be with regards to a relationship. It could be with regards to a new project, some idea that might just come and spark within you, this in reverse is saying it's not the right time yet. Don't go with it yet. And it seems like there is going to be communication about this. Okay, so the Eight of Wands is a lot of busyness, it's a lot of communication, perhaps it's not the right time to go with this because you are traveling because it's not the right time to travel yet. Um, you might be really busy with other communication and it's not the right time to take this project on yet. Okay, so something there. It's not the right time to take it on. It could very well be travel for a lot of you. That there is perhaps even some delay in travel something stopping you. Okay, so Page of Cups here on this side, in the reverse. This is someone who is upright, sending love messages, you know, flirty messages, text messages, back and forth, it could be, or just message of love and friendship perhaps to someone. And in the reverse, those messages are not forthcoming. There is also something to do with family here. Now, the Ten of Coins is a long-standing family setup. It is something that has been established over time. It has longevity. It is something solid as well. So this could be a relationship that's solid. 
a marriage. The page of cups reversed could also be someone acting quite childishly. It could also be a child that you're dealing with that is going through problems or something to do with a child that I'm seeing here with the page of cups in the reverse. Because there's a family situation here and then there's a child and this child is in the reverse. So either you have got a child that is playing up or there's something to do with a child here where you are needing perhaps to give this child attention. Okay, so you'll have to just see how that plays out in your situation. But there is this thing about freedom. So we're going to clarify. I think let's get some clarifiers. So let's have a look at this in further detail. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands, please. We've got justice in the reverse. Okay, so there, there is some injustice going on. Can I have another one, please? There's some injustice about something that's happened in your past. This is a relationship from the past. And it's also come out in the reverse. So this could be to do with children. It could be to do with an ex. It could even be some form of divorce for some of you doesn't have to be. That's for very few of you. Um, we do have the Ten of Pentacles upright. But the Six of Cups is something from your past. So it could be an ex. Perhaps this is some form of legal matter going on with an ex of yours. Or, for some of you, a family matter. If it's not to do with an ex-relationship or a third party in a relationship, then what I'm seeing here is something from your past, something from your roots, something from your history. There is some legal matter going on here. So this could even be with siblings, family, anything like that. Okay. Some form of injustice going on there. And that's perhaps why you want to be free of all of this. So can we have some more info, please? Let me know in the comments if this is resonating at all. So there's communication coming in about this. It could be a relationship for some of you where there is this, um, it could have been a passionate relationship for some of you where there is now some form of legal thing going on. And then for others of you, it could even be to do with work. It could be to do with a project. It could be to do with somebody in your family, from your roots, where there is some legal matter and a lot of communication back and forth. Okay. We've got the Nine of Wands coming out in the reverse. So you are letting down your guard here. Upright, this is the wounded warrior, and he's got his guard up, and he's not letting anyone in. He's been through the walls. So in the reverse, you are letting your guard down here in a certain situation to do with perhaps some legality that you're going through, to letting your guard down here. Let's get some more information, please.
I've also got the three of wands in the reverse coming out here. So it looks like if there was uh, some form of travel mentioned before, there is something that is stopping you from traveling here. There's something stopping you from traveling. It's like you can't make your travel plans. I've got this at the bottom of the deck. There's some reason, perhaps it's a legal reason, why you can't make these travel plans. So this very well could be travel for a lot of you. Perhaps it's got something to do with family. And a child. So let's get some more information. So I'm seeing a few cards here now about not being able to get, not being able to travel, not being able to move forward in some capacity. So what other information can you give us please on this, our Aries Collective? Okay, this is a heavy burden that you're carrying, guys. Um, something is really burdensome to you. You are wanting to move forward. Perhaps some of you are even wanting to move home. You know, the Ten of Pentacles can also be a home. It's great wealth as well. So you guys, there is great wealth here. There's something that has been set up, a long-standing home perhaps, or great wealth within a family. Um, there is, I'm seeing something to do with travel, not being able to travel because of something legal going on. And it looks like there is a child involved in this whole situation. And the Ten of Wands, is, it's, it's, it's bringing you down. You are burdened by this whole thing. Um, it can also be a card of movement, a card of moving. It's difficult. You've got this, you, you're carrying Ten Wands on your back. But um, you're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to move. So it could be to move to a new home, even to a new city or a new country I'm seeing for some of you. Further information, please. Perhaps you are wanting to leave this old home behind with the Six of Cups there and travel, move. You're wanting to free yourself from this. More information, please. Okay, Three of Swords in reverse. Good to have in the reverse. Upright, it's a heartache. Okay. So in the reverse, you are coming out of some form of heartache. There has been heartache and you're starting to heal from whatever this heartache has been in your life. Okay, so let's carry on. So something to do with heartache here that's been going on with you guys in this situation. It hasn't been easy for you. Okay, the hermit. So it looks like you might be spending some time alone here. Spending time alone, um, going inwards, you know. Um, so that you can gain some insight into your situation. All right. What else have you got for us, Spirit? And I think also perhaps to heal from whatever this heartache has been for you. It might have something to do with this legal situation.
Okay, and then we have the card of victory, Six of Wands. So, the Six of Wands is a beautiful card to get. I mean, this is a card that comes after you've been through a battle. So you've been through the battle and you've come out victorious. You've got uh, the crowds are looking up to you and you've, you're wearing the wreath of victory. Some of you could be in the spotlight as well, but things are going in your favor. So it's like you're coming out of this heartache and you're going within. And once you come back out, you are standing victorious. The Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is a card of communication. There is some communication that is going to be rushing in. It's going to be, you've got this quick communication coming in twice as well. It was your first card and it's your last card. So the Knight of Swords can also talk a lot. He can talk really quickly as well. There's a lot of talking going on. So you're going to be having conversations about something that you are perhaps going to be victorious in. I would be very careful how you word these conversations. Uh, make sure that you don't just rattle on and that you think before you speak. And if these are messages coming into you, you need to really think before you respond. Okay. It's very imperative with the Knight of Swords that you don't just rattle on um, and say things that could fuel a fire. For some of you, this is a decision that you're making. It's like streamlined decision making that you make quickly. You come to a decision, so perhaps you go inwards and then you decide on something that you know is going to be the best way forward for you guys. And it's a quick decision you make and off you go. In haste, basically. So something very quick. It's also someone who is very assertive. And uh, it could be, you know, someone that is coming in, rushing in to save the day. So those are a few different scenarios for you. Someone coming in to save the day with communication, perhaps. And you always, as I say, just need to be careful of how you word things with the Knight of Swords. He can be quite intelligent, witty. So you've just got to be careful not to use sarcasm and that kind of thing that's going to fuel any fires there. Okay, so that is your message, Aries. I wish you all well, and I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.